Welcome back to the ranch, here at the Guitar Temple. I'm traveling right now, so uh, a lot of you said, how come you're always in a mall when you do your videos? That's the Hard Rock Cafe. It's not a mall. <laughs> Glad you all are visiting. Glad you have, uh, do your comments, and uh, I try to get it right. Most of the time I do. Not to brag, but... Uh, I do my research too, and uh, I love opining with you. Talk about Vivian Campbell. He was with the band called Sweet Savage, okay, when he was about like 16 years old. And that solo that's in Sweet Savage's, uh, one of Sweet Savage's songs, is the same solo that he plays pretty much in Rainbow in the Dark. He was 20 years old when he was playing for Dio. Did Jakey e. Lee play for Dio? I says, Jakey e. Lee played with Dio in Los Angeles. He played with Dio. Dio's bio even has Jakey e. Lee as one of his lineup. Was he on the album? No. Did he go on tour? No. But he played with them in Los Angeles. And Dio credits him as such. J.K. E. Lee says in his bio that he played with Ronnie James Dio. Is J.K. E. Lee the world's best guitarist? A lot of people are putting down there, what are you crazy? He's not the best guitarist. Is J.K. E. Lee the best guitarist? question you know we want to uh, seek the answer is Tina S the world's best guitarist as I said in the very first video here at the guitar temple who is the greatest guitarist of all and I said unanswerable you can't answer that you can be a giant fan. You can say it's Jakey e. Lee. You can say it's Tina S. You can stay. You can say it's Steve Vai. Come on, man. Right? It's Johnny Highland. The thing is, you can't say it because there's just too many styles. Right? One's country, one's blues, one's fusion. Uh, you know, and one's classical, and one's uh, flat picking. Billy Strings. But it's true, right? It's hard. We're fans. It's the fan. There's a difference, by the way. No doubt about it. No getting around it. A fan and uh, a non-player and a fan or a professional school college guitarist or a uh, guitar player who is a instructor at Berkeley Juilliard Musicians Institute, the Guitar Institute of Technology, and the like, will all say different things. You know, the fan would probably say it's J.K. E. Lee, without doubt. I saw a solo by him, second to nobody. And they're right. For them, it's right. And a lot of them, it really brings a memory, doesn't it? It brings them back to a time. It's the memory. A good memory, good times. 14, 16, 20 years old, you know, going to, going to the great concerts. But uh, are they the best in the world? Some can write a song second to nobody. Second to nobody. Genius songwriting. Okay? Like Sykes, let's say. You know? Then you got Guthrie Govan. These are gunslingers, if you will. These are people who have it under the fingers. The Igor Paspalge, for example. Just unbelievable. And one would say, I don't like it when they just do arpeggios and uh, scale running lines. That's right. That's why you have Felder, more melodic player, lead guitar player of the Eagles. The thing is, to play those arpeggios and those scales, clean, clear, crisp, and happy, and fast like that, it's gymnastics, isn't it? 
it's sort of almost like gymnastics. It takes talent to be able to play such things. So it's to be respected. So the gunslinger, the Guthrie Govan, let's say, you know, and uh, a Danny Gatton, who? You see, Danny Gatton is just incredible. So to say J.K. Lee is not as good as Danny Gatton or Guthrie Govan is not as good as Vivian Campbell or to say uh, Randy Rhodes, oh, those guys. I said, well, they were the pretty much the first. He was there with Van Halen in, those, in the times when Van Halen was around. I remember that. I remember it so well. I remember Eddie Van Halen actually said, did me to the bone, he did. And I remember saying, what are you talking about? He practically topped you, but that was an opinion, okay? Because I really liked Randy Rhodes very much. I like Van Halen. There's no discounting Van Halen. I'm not going to discount Van Halen. But these are the best players in the world. And Tina S. There's no bashing the girl. She's proven herself, hasn't she? Right? A sweet prodigy princess. You know? What a world-class player. She wrote an album. It happens to be, uh, you know, more of a Nirvana Lincoln Park style. Uh, it's because she, that's what she wants to do right now. And that's what came out of her. I remember, you know, I studied jazz fusion. And uh, when I go write an album, it pretty much came out, uh, well, not country, but I mean, it came out. Uh, it's funny how the music just comes out once you write it. It's like it becomes its own beast, if you will. <laughs> so uh, she wrote that. And uh, that's her uh, first uh, working with, it's a band uh, thing pretty much, right? Uh, but we were expecting C because she's uh, such a proficient uh, musician that she's going to play something that proficient musicians would play, say like Larry Carlton, right? An our Larry Carlton album. That's what we were expecting. Well, she came out with, well, you know, pretty much thrash metal or Linkin Park, if you will. It was just a surprise. You know, we're not hating, just saying, right? Not hating, just saying. But I'm glad you're all here. Some of you say, let's talk. Just says, share, share the button so we can get the, uh, the, uh, the guitar temple to go places. Okay. I mean, uh, <laughs> unbelievable. Get right into it. No, no, no. We're here to have fun. We're here to shoot the breeze. It's me and you, yes and we, together both with broken wings, but together we can fly. So <clears throat> back at the farm right now, uh, I'll be back at uh, there probably at Christmas time or something like that. Okay. Let's Bye. go back to Dio for just a moment, folks. Ronnie James Dio, okay? He chose Vivian Campbell because he, Ronnie James Dio, as an American, said he liked the mix of British and American. Jakey e. Lee is American. Guitar player from Los Angeles. So he decided, after playing with Jakey e. Lee in Los Angeles, he decided on going with Vivian Campbell, who was introduced to him by Jimmy Bain, the bass player. But Jimmy Bain, the bass player of Dio, considered strongly this other guy, John Sykes. Not true. Can't be true. Anyways, let's all have just fun here. It's a great place. It's not a, a dictionary. If we get it wrong, terrific. If we don't, terrific. It's just a lighthearted uh, site. Um, but we do tend to get it right. And I uh, got it right last year, by the way. And I voted in here at the Guitar Temple. I says the best guitar player of the year is Igor Paspalj. Seven months later, Guitar World magazine announces him as the best new guitar player. 
So uh, we're uh, calling it right uh, some of the times and uh, glad you're taking the journey with us. But yeah, I couldn't believe it. John Sykes, main song writer. I'm not talking about lyrics, but music for the band White Snake. Remember that? That's John Sykes. He wrote some fantastic music. So uh, he was considered for Ronnie James Dio. And John Sykes ended up playing with White Snake. He considered uh, to do the album with J.K. E. Lee, but instead he just did, uh, uh, you know, some stuff with J.K. E. Lee in Los Angeles. Didn't write on the album, didn't go on tour with him, but he played in his band for a bit. And then he went off to who? Ozzy Osbourne. And that's sad too, isn't it? The arguments that they are having, the political stuff uh, in the band, the politics of music, if you will, and uh, the arguing about money and stuff like this, and that's what destroys a lot of them. Uh, look at Ronnie James Dio, right? Ronnie James Dio and Wendy, you know? Thing is, is Vivian Campbell might be absolutely, completely, totally right, to be honest. I like uh, Ronnie James Dio. I think he's a good guy. You know, Craig Goldie says he's a really good guy. Through and through, he's a good guy. But, you know, Vivian Campbell was not a pauper. The guy came from cash. The guy had money. And uh, his father was wealthy. So he wasn't worried about money. But, like his father always taught him, he says, you know what? If you make a deal, that's the deal, even if it's verbal. And they made the deal. I believe it was after the third album, we start get more equal cuts and stuff like this. But he reneged on that, Dio did. And it was uh, Wendy really uh, setting it in stone. This is too bad, this is the way it is, Cat. You know, that's Ronnie James Dio's wife at the time. She was the manager. And look at Ozzy Osbourne with Sharon Osbourne. You know? A lot of crazy things there. You know? A lot of politics there, too, about music. You know, Bach at the Moon, that was J.K. Lee wrote that song. The music. He wrote Bach at the Moon. But they practically tried to take all the credits for it and all of this stuff. And uh, that was a lot of Sharon, you know. And uh, Peter Lynch, great guitarist. You know, it's hard to believe, but true. But Peter Lynch was there along with uh, Randy Rhodes. And uh, when Randy got the job, he left to go teach at Randy Rhodes' mother's house. The car just went by. Had to stop for a second there. Let him go by. Destroy a look at Ozzy Osbourne, right? I mean, you got uh, Sharon pretty much running the show there. You know, Sharon's father was a powerful promoter. You know that, right? And that's where it comes from. In fact, uh, she said, you get together with Ozzy and I'll disown you pretty much. That's how it all came down. And she left her father's business and went with Ozzy. She had one client, Is Ozzy. It? And uh, Peter Lynch, he lost that job to Jakey Lee because Jakey Lee, nice fella by the way, Jake Lee's a good guy, apparently, from what I hear. He's a pretty darn good guy. Uh, but uh, Peter Lynch um, came in and, you know, he used to do all the sound checks and Jakey Lee was there and he says, uh, as he was leaving, he assumed that he had the job with Ozzy Osbourne and uh, Jake says, I don't think you got the gig, man. I don't think, I don't think you have it. And he was being respectful and he's telling him, he says, why? He says, I've got the job. He told, he told me I have the job. So uh, come to find out that Sharon and Ozzy get together and they says, you don't have the job because Peter Lynch, you cut your hair. Yeah, and, and uh, Sharon said, uh, that's not the image we want. And Ozzy was pissed off about it. So basically Peter Lynch lost out two times in the Ozzy Osbourne band. One time with Randy Rhodes, okay, and when Randy got the job, 
Lynch went to teach at Randy Rhodes' mother's house, if you can believe it. And then uh, Randy Rhodes was going to be quitting Ozzy's band in the next album to start teaching and create his own like college or whatever. He, he was going to go uh, solo. And uh, he wanted to be more of a teacher, believe it or not, uh, from what I understand. So a lot of stuff goes on. Then again, uh, Peter Lynch uh, went for the job with uh, with Ozzy and Jake E. Lee ended up getting it because he had cut his hair. I like Peter Lynch. I think he's a damn good guitarist. Jake E. Lee, they're all equal to each other, aren't they? So who's the best guitarist in the world? Remember, I made the statement, is Jake E. Lee the best guitar player in the world? And some people said, you know, uh, no. Or what are you talking about? You know, and it, it's just conversation, folks. I like you. I'd like you to come on over. Let's be respectful. I'm being respectful to you. Um, yeah, no, it's just not possible. And I know we have our heroes and stuff like that, you know. And uh, But uh, it's impossible to say he is the best. Well, in rock music, it's Steve Vai. Well, you know, Steve Vai, you know, who's his guitar teacher? Who's Steve Vai's guitar teacher? I know you know, because you wouldn't be here at the Guitar Temple. And for the people who don't know, that would be Joe Saccione. That's Steve Vai's guitar teacher. <laughs> so, and then you say, well, what about Joe Saccione, you know? And well, then you say, what about Danny Gatton? What about Guthrie Govan? Igor Paspalge, who? Yeah, so there's a lot. And I'm sorry I'm long-winded on this one, but I just wanted to clarify that as the very first video stated, who is the greatest guitarist alive? Unanswerable, and it really is. We love Tina S. We love Steve Vai. We love Johnny Highland. Billy Strings. Who? That's a flat picker. And the like. So, let's take a look at what we are going to do in this one. This is going to be fun. So, being as it may, you have the fan, right? Sorry about the ducks. They just want to be fed. It's all right. What we want to do in this video, we're going to see who becomes the best guitar player in the world out of, out of the ones listed here below. I didn't put classical guitar players. I didn't put people uh, before Jimi Hendrix and all uh, way back then. I put, you know, the ones that we all know and love pretty much, pretty much. Yeah, but you don't know about this and this obscure guy from... Uh, from somewhere else. Then you'll say, uh, well, Mario was the best uh, guitar player and other people will say, who's he? Okay, so <laughs> that's a monster right there, let me promise you. And you'll see all the listings. What well, we wanna have fun today, here's what we're doing. We're gonna list, we're gonna find out and I'll probably uh, get, get to it and put it up. It says, you voted for. And I'll list it at some point here at the Guitar Temple, who the People's Choice Awards are here at the Guitar Temple. What we're gonna do is we're going to look at the lineup. There's gonna be a number, you know, like uh, Danny Gatton, one. Johnny Highland, two. And I want you to be able to pick four because it's impossible to pick one. It's J.K. E. Lee, case closed. You're wrong, and that's all there is to it. Vivian Campbell blows away uh, Randy Rhodes. Okay, that's an opinion. But is he really better than Guthrie Govan? I mean, or Matteo? Think about it. Take a look at this guy. Watch him play. Now watch out, because the non-professional guitar player will say, <sighs> He's just a scale runner. He's just playing scales and arpeggios. It's not just that. It's like I say, gymnastics, man. It's something incredible to do. That's why people respect it so much. 
so there'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way up. And uh, you pick, well, here are my four choices. Because you're not going to be able to pick just one. Yeah. So uh, you can pick one. Vivian. That doesn't mean Vivian is it. Uh, you could say that. You can. You can type below and say Vivian's number one, case closed. I don't even have to choose two. You can say Jake E. Lee. You can say Peter Lynch. You can say whoever you want to say. Uh, but uh, take a pick of four. All right? Number one, two, three, or four. First choice for you, Johnny Highland. You know, it might be the your second choice, Matteo. Third choice, Al Di Miolo. Who? You should know these guys if you're any if you are a professional guitar player. If you're not, you're just a fan of. Remember, there are advanced listeners out there. I can tell you, they're not pro musicians, but I could tell you, they know, they know their guys. And I'm glad you're here. So pick one, two, three, or four. I'll give you four choices. And I'll pick my four. And I'll say who I feel are the best musicians in the world. But the thing is, is once you pick it, right? That's the best guitar player in the world. But is, is, did he write a song as good as John Sykes? Yeah? Did he write music as good as David Gilmore? You know? David Gilmore can't play guitar like Guthrie Govan. He can't come close to Vivian Campbell, okay, or Johnny Highland. But sure as hell can write a song, and that's really what it comes down to, right? And what I like about Felder is so melodic, something you can chew your, uh, sink your teeth into, right? And really enjoy it. Hey, I hope I didn't take too much of your time. Uh, do like and subscribe, by the way. Tell a friend, press the share button, and you can. You can donate below, please. Uh, there is a tip jar instead of uh, going over to Patreon. It's just, uh, this is one, two, three, done. You know, that type of thing. It's safest in the safest in the planet. So, and if you are looking for a guitar, by the way, I am a guitar player. I know good guitars. There's different styles, different flavors for different folks. But the person who's not sure what they want to get, I got a list in the description below. Go ahead and click on the list. There's a good one, there's a better one, and there's a best one. You know, different price points. Low price, middle price, and very high priced. So for the uh, beginner, intermediate, and pro expert, there's a guitar there for you. And don't forget, the reason why I say if you want to tip in the tip jar, we were trying to bring the site to extreme heights. I appreciate you, by the way, 300,000 of you. I do appreciate you. And uh, you get two, uh, 2,000 subscribers. I want you to subscribe. When you see the video, just subscribe. Okay? And uh, But we are uh, brought to you by viewers, viewers like, like you. you. Okay? So that's why you don't see no commercials. Okay. Let's get to it. Who do you feel? It's the best guitarist alive. In this list, pick number seven, number 20, number 14, and number three, or whatever it is for you. Okay, so there is no best guitar player, but we're gonna have fun with it here, the Guitar Temple. Thought it would be nice. Thanks for stopping by, and I apologize for being long-winded, but I wanted to talk to you a little bit about you know, things. Okay? All right. See you soon. See you on the other side.
And there it is. Who are your picks? I'm going to go look below in the description area. I'm going to go below. And let me know where you're from, by the way. Where you're from? Jake from Netherlands. I think these four are the top dog. And you and any comments you want to have about those. Okay? And I hope you enjoyed us here at the Guitar Temple. Do appreciate you. And um, I, I I put myself up there. It was it was a joke. I don't compete with uh, these are the best players on earth. <laughs> but I says uh, well, uh, I, I know uh, somebody who picked me as number one, my mother. You know, that's why I put myself up there. Okay. Well, my name is John, and I hope to talk to you again. And I speak to you with respect. And I hope that you join me again here. Okay. Thanks for visiting. <laughs>